Hi, in this video we we'll show you how to uh, generate a, a new variable using data as well as how to record an existing variable in order to have uh, some variable that match with uh, analysis we are going to, to make. So uh, for this uh, tutorial we have a data set with information on height and weight and weight on a given adult population sample so in this video we'll first of all uh, show you how to uh, use uh, to generate a quantitative variable using existing ones and we'll uh, secondly show you how to use and to transform a quantitative variable into qualitative and uh, as well as the recording and this is the first time you are watching one of my video do not hesitate to subscribe and activate the notification bell in order not to lose the next video so uh, we have as i said a database uh, called, uh, you know on height and weight of individual and we will show you first of all how to generate a variable that we call bmi that is not is just the uh, weight divided by the square of the height so our variable bmi will be uh, generated using the command gen gen for generate uh, the name of our variable is uh, b M I so BMI will be equal to uh, wake select a variable wake divided by uh, high square high square and then we click on OK and our variable BMI has been generated with uh, 222 uh, missing value due to the missing value uh, ups, uh, on our in our sample uh, on wake and hike variable we have a uh, missing value that uh, lead to uh, 222 missing value in our variable uh, bmi we can label a variable uh, bmi as well using the command label uh, label followed by uh, reserve word uh, variable variable and the variable uh, we are going to label is uh, bmi and the label we are going to give to our variable is uh, just uh, body mass index so body max index and then we click on ok so on recognize so because that's what because we type our variable bmi two times so we'll delete one uh, bmi then we click on ok on recognize so our label is not uh, label label like this then click on ok and you can see that our variable bmi have been labeled as uh, body mass index so the second step is uh, to generate a new variable based on bmi that will be a qualitative variable that will have uh, different value and we know that when uh, we will do the classification uh, the following classification we consider people with uh, with bmi less than 80.5 as uh, on the wake person with bmi between uh, 18 18.5 to 25 will be considered to healthy wake person with uh, over uh, with uh, uh, body mass index between 20 to 30 will be considered as overweight and obesity will be uh, characterized by people in uh, the uh, interval 30 to 40 and more than 40 we will consider uh, people as in severe obesity obesity so that's why we generate our variable uh, B bmi1 that will be equal to my variable BMI. So we'll uh, to generate the variable with uh, one, two, three, four, five modality that I just uh, set here concerning uh, obesity stages. So we will just uh, replace you the command replace replace. Uh, we'll replace uh, our variable uh, B uh, BMI one 
will be uh, equal to uh, to one if our variable uh, BMI body mass index is less than uh, less than 18.5 so then we click on OK uh, so I just uh, we just type uh, replace replace like this replace and then we click on ok and we can see that our first replacement have been made for our variable bmi all those are who have bmi less than uh, 80.5 has been uh, replaced by one so the second replacement will be uh, replace uh, replace uh, our variable uh, BMI one if uh, if uh, BMI is more than uh, more or equal to eighty point five and and uh, and. Uh, BMI uh, is uh, less than uh, uh, 25 less than 25 so we give it the value uh, 2 BMI 1 replace BMI 1 equal 2 if uh, if uh, BMI more than 80.5 and uh, BMI less than 20 uh, 20 when we click on OK, uh, 100,398 uh, variables have been uh, changed due to this uh, command. So we'll uh, thirdly replace uh, over our variable BMI1 BMI uh, equal to uh, 3 if uh, our variable BMI is uh, more than 20 more or equal to uh, 25 and our variable PMI should be uh, less than uh, than 30 so that's uh, free and fourthly we'll uh, replace our variable uh, PMI equal to uh, to 4 if our variable uh, BMI is uh, more or equal to more or equal to uh, 30 and and BMI less less than 40 and finally we'll uh, give to our variable uh, BMI 1 the value 5 if uh, our BMI is uh, more or equal to 40 then we click on OK and we can see that our variable BMI1 has been generated and we can tabulate it at well using tab uh, BMI1 and we can see that our variable BMI1 have uh, five modalities one two three four five and we can see frequencies and uh, percentages of uh, each uh, of our modality of our uh, sample so uh, the third the last thing we're going to do is to label to give uh, to our modality one two three four five different label so that we can uh, user of our database can be able to see which is what is one what is two what is three what is four or what is five so uh, what we are going to do is to uh, just um, generate a new variable so we generate a new variable called obese obese which is which will be equal to pmi1 
first of all however bmi is in the uh, and the last step it will be to record our variable ops so we will use the command uh, record uh, we record uh, uh, our variable uh, obs and uh, one will be equal to one and the label will be uh, on the week on the week Two will be uh, equal to two in our modality in our uh, new variable that we will uh, generate, and the uh, uh, the label will be uh, healthy uh, healthy wake healthy weight. Thirdly, uh, we'll uh, give a tree. We keep a tree for uh, the tree modality of our obese variable, and the label will be uh, over week. Fourthly, we'll uh, keep uh, four for four, and our lab label will be uh, obzt. And finally, we'll uh, keep five equal to five in our uh, new variable that we will generate, and the label will be uh, obzt severe obesity severe obesity. Then we close followed by comma and we will uh, generate a new variable using generate our new variable that we generate will be called uh, o o b z uh, o b z t uh, stages o b z t stages And then we can just click on OK, and we can see that our new variable obesity stages have been generated, and we can label this as well using the command uh, la label obesity stages, and the name we will give to our variable obesity stages will be uh, just O B. Uh, obesity stages and then we click on uh, so we forgot uh, variable reserve word variable in our label label variable obesity stages and the label will be obesity stages so we can see that our variable obesity stages is here and we can tabulate as well obesity stages uh, and you can see that there are uh, the last table that have just one two three four five modality uh, have been replaced by underweight healthy weight overweight obesity and severe obesity that uh, represent all these uh, one two three four five modality and we can go in the code book of our variable code book using the command code book followed by the name of our variable obesity stages and we can see that uh, one correspond to on the way two correspond to uh, healthy work uh, three correspond to overweight for for obesity and five represent obesity stages so that's it for this uh, video and we hope it had been uh, helpful for you to help you generate and record variable using stata and if you are not yet so you have not yet subscribed to the youtube channel do subscribe and activate the notification bell in order not to lose the next uh, video and uh, anytime soon